Hi everyone, welcome back to Life Prepared. I finally got the rest of my items to finish my project. Yep, I'm making a Lego table. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna finish this off. I thought I'd share with you just for a minute my thought process on how I was gonna make this table. Originally, I was just gonna glue these down to the surface of the table, but I thought, you know, they could get really dirty and nasty. And I wanted them to be able to take them off and throw them in the dishwasher if they got really, you know, kind of disgusting. So what I did was I went to the hardware store and I found this piece of screen molding. I thought it was kind of pretty and it kind of matches the height of these. And I'm going to glue this to the table using my tight bond glue. And to hold it in place while it dries, I'm going to use a few little brad nails. Because those act more as a clamp, they're really not going to hold as well as the glue will hold it down. The thing with that is, I'm going to have to do some more painting because now that these are going to be removable, I'm going to paint under here, where originally I was just going to paint the outside once I put these in place. But I have to be real careful, you cannot paint under where you're going to glue the wood down because it won't stick. So I'm going to draw a couple lines really well. I'm going to paint both sides. I'm going to make sure it's well sanded underneath here to glue well. And once I get to that part, I will bring you back. I wanted to show you the next step I did. I took my miter saw and my miter box and I mitered the corners on all four pieces of the screen molding. Because I want my corners, I'm going to have to do a little bit of sanding to make them nice, but I want my corners to meet up like this. If you don't have a miter saw, that's okay. You could still butt them together and it'll look nice. If I did that, I would take a little sandpaper and maybe just kind of knock that corner off so it looked like I did it on purpose. But either way, it's going to look really nice. I just wanted to make sure that I could remove those base plates either way so that they could be washed. Now I have a lot of painting to do. I'm going to paint these because it's a lot easier to do it now. And I think I'm going to paint the inside of this before I put these down. Okay, either you guys are going to think I'm really crazy or this is genius, but I wanted to get down to the surface where these things are going to stick. So I know they're going to stick really well. And my hand sander, my little hand sandpaper wasn't working. So I got that thing that you use on your heels. Don't worry, I got a new one of these, but it seems to be working pretty good. In order to make sure I do not paint where this molding needs to go, I put a scrap piece down so I can go right next to it when I'm painting this section of the table. And I'm going to go all the way around and when I do the inside I'll do the same. Now that I'm on my second coat, I can go up right next to that line and not have to worry too much about getting too far into my glue area. It was kind of hard to see that line before. But now I can go a little bit faster and get the second coat of paint on my this part of my table. Hopefully before it gets too dark in here. I don't have a whole lot of light in my kitchen, even though I try to put up spotlights and stuff. Well, I broke down and finally dug through all my painting supplies out in my shed. At least it wasn't like below zero out there, so it wasn't so bad. To see if I could cover up that white paint that I got on there because it was bleeding through so bad. Um, I know the best way to do it is with a roller, but you know, just to do something that small surface, I didn't really want to have to get the roller out. And luckily I found a small one. 
because a big one is so much harder to control when you're doing a project like this but so far it looks like I'm covering it up and I'm gonna see how it goes after I let this dry but I'm happy because I had three coats on it with the brush and it just was not cutting it before we'll see how it goes well I finally got enough coats of paint on here to cover up the white when I was being kind of sloppy there the last thing I need to do is to attach the molding that you can see is all painted up there So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some tight bond with the brush and I'm going to paint the back of that with glue. I like to dump it in a little lid here, make it easier. And then I'm going to use these brad nails to hold it down. Now a little tip, if you have difficulty holding the nails because they're so small, I put mine in a, a little um, hair clip here. A hairpin and that you can hold them really nice and you don't have to worry about hitting your fingers when I put my first corner down I'm gonna make sure it's nice and square because when you get to the other end if it's not everything's not gonna to fit together well it shouldn't be too bad of a problem if I properly cut my angles here but we'll see won't we well I got done as much as I can for tonight Time to do some chores, got to feed the animals, got to make dinner, and I got to wait for paint to dry. Let me tell you, I made a huge mistake. I got real sloppy with the white, and I'm having a heck of a time covering that up. That's two coats already. I'm really hoping that the third coat is going to be a charm. But once I get back to it, I'll let you know how it's going. Okay, made sure my corner's all squared up. Take my first piece. Now there is a little white on the back, but I roughed it up with some sandpaper to make sure it's gonna stick really well. Put my glue on it, trying to cover as much as possible. This part, I tend to get a little messy, so I take my time. Don't want to have to clean up a lot of excess glue since it's already painted. Okay. Line it up on my mark. So, grab my little, I don't like to start at the very corner with my nails because I don't want anything to split. And hopefully it'll bounce you around too much. Take your time here, you don't want to go fast. I don't want to split my wood. Did I shift you a little bit here? Making sure I don't shift anything. Alright, that's it. My last nail's in place. Now I'm going to make you a little seasick there, but I'm going to get my nail set and I'm going to make sure those are nice and flush. And then as you can see, i got a couple little places I need to touch up, but that's about how it goes. And a couple little doinks that need to be touched up, but once I get that done, I will show you my completed project. I had to get a little creative. Could not find my nail set, no matter what. 
So I took a screw and I ground down the tip because it's got a nice big flat head on it. And now I can go around and set my nails. That's it, last one. Uh, now a little touch-up paint, and this project will be done. All right, here's the complete project. As you can see, I put a nice border around to hold all those plates in place so they'll be able to play with their building blocks. I painted it even underneath so that if they take them off, it's nice underneath. I did add a little extra to the legs from the last time you saw it. I just put a couple of stars on them. There you go. Turned out pretty good, I think. I think they'll have years of fun with it.